after we're done while it's healing for a week. So these you were saying that this was like we put it in and the very end is up in, in the top of the kidney here, but it has to span the, the entire ureter and then it and then it curls in the bladder here. So um, if you can imagine when your bladder fills and then empties when you urinate, you know, the lining may touch the end of the stent and that may cause irritation and, and spasming of the bladder. Um, when someone urinates, the urine may also kind of go up alongside the stent and cause them discomfort in the kidney too. Uh, kidney stones are increasing in prevalence um, over the last about 20 years, they've doubled in prevalence in men and quadrupled in women, and so they affect about 1 in 11 Americans. Um, they're extremely painful and they're really expensive. Kidney stones are absolutely affected by diet. Um, we know that they're associated with, with obesity, and they're, over the last uh, few decades, there's been a rise in obesity, so, which may be one of the reason that um, kidney stones are, have increased significantly in kids. The most common stone surgery that we do to remove a stone is called ureteroscopy, where we put a camera into the ureter uh, and treat a stone with laser, for example. This type of procedure is the most common procedure that's done for stones, um, and about 80 to 90 percent of these procedures we leave a stent in afterwards. We think there are benefits to having a stent, like healing of the ureter, not allowing the kidney to be obstructed if there's inflammation after the stone procedure, but they can be associated with, with terrible symptoms. Um, some people don't feel the stent at all, and, and some people ha are, are miserable with a stent, whether it's symptoms in their bladder, symptoms towards their back and their kidney when they urinate, um, and we really don't understand a lot of why people get the symptoms, um, who's at risk for the symptoms, and we're really trying to understand that better so we can try to help people uh, in the future.